Welcome to this video tutorial from SPSSVideoTutor.com. I'm Jacob Mays and today I will demonstrate three ways to transform variables in SPSS. First we will transform by computing a new variable. Next we will transform by recoding into a different variable. And finally we will transform by recoding into the same variable. In this data file we have age, gender, one attitudinal question and three performance questions where there is only one correct answer for each of the three questions. For question one the correct answer is two, for question two the correct answer is three, and for question three the correct answer is one. The first thing we would like to do is score these questions. This can be done by using either the compute command or the recode command. Let's first score these questions using the compute command. So in order to do this we go up to transform and we go to compute variable. We're going to call our new variable CQ1. Okay and CQ1 is going to equal 1 if Q1 equals 2. Okay, so Q1 equals 2 is the condition. So we have to go and create this condition using an if statement. So then we go to include if case satisfies condition and then we state Q1 equals 2. We click continue and then we see here the full condition is CQ1 equals 1 if Q1 equals 2. All right, then we click OK, and we see here that everywhere that Q1 equals 2, CQ1 equals 1. Now, we see that we have missing data here. So that means that we need to go and compute values for the missing data. So anywhere someone got the wrong answer, we're going to give them a 0. So we go back to transform, compute variable, we're going to change the 1 to a 0 and we're going to change our condition from Q1 equals 2 to Q1 does not equal 2. So we click continue and then we click OK. We get a dialog box that asks us if we want to change the variable and we click OK. We see here that anywhere a respondent got a wrong answer they now have a zero okay now there is a faster way to do this and that is by using the recode into different variable procedure so to do that we go to transform we go to recode into different variables and we move Q1 into the input variable output variable box we're going to create a new name for our new variable which is RQ1 and you can type a label in here so I'm just going to put Q1 underscore recode and click change okay so our old variable is Q1 and the variable that we are recoding into is RQ1 now there is no if condition but we will have old and new values. Under old value we type 2 and under new value we type 1. So 1 is going to be the value in our recoded variable. Okay then we click add. So all other values are going to be coded as a 0. So we click add and then we click continue and then we click OK and we see here that in one step we were able to replicate what we did in two steps using the compute command alright so now what we're going to do is we're going to recode questions 2 and question 3 so again we go back to transform recode into different variable we're going to hit reset we're going to move Q2 over and Q3 and for Q2 we're going to call this 
r q2 that's going to be our new variable and we're going to label this q2 underscore recode click change and then remain keeping this highlighted we're going to go to old values and for q2 three is the correct response so three gets a value of one we click add and then all other values receive a value of zero we click add and then we click continue now we have to go to Q3 and identify the the new output variable name and the old and new values so for Q3 we're going to call this RQ3 we're going to call this Q3 underscore recode click change and then the old values we're going to move these out of the way first and then the old value is going to be a 1 because 1 is correct so it gets a new value of 1 and all other values receive a 0 click add click continue and now you will see that the OK button and paste button are now highlighted because both of these have associated old and new values and have a name all right so now we click OK and we see here that RQ1, RQ2, and RQ3 now have values. All right. So now what we'd like to do is we'd like to compute a total score for RQ1, RQ2, and RQ3. So to do that we go to transform, we go to compute variable, we hit reset. Our new variable is going to be total and it's going to be the sum of Q1 plus Q2 plus Q3. Now, the one caveat here when you use this approach is that if you have any missing values in any one of these variables, your total is going to have a missing value. Okay? so in order to get around this we use the sum function and what you do is you go to all you go down to sum you double click on sum and you replace the question marks with your variables so RQ1 delete this question mark RQ2 you add a comma and then you add RQ3 now another way that you can do this is simply typing RQ1 to RQ3 okay and the reason you can do this is because the variables that you're adding together are consecutive so when you have a lot of variables that are consecutive that you're adding or subtracting or what have you you can use the two instead of the individual commas and in the individual variables okay so then we click OK and we see at the end here that we have our total score so one plus 0 plus 1 equals 2 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals 3 and 0 plus 0 plus 1 equals 1 and so on and so forth okay so now you know how to calculate the total finally I'm going to show you how to recode into the same variable so what we're going to do is we're going to actually recode the attitudinal variable and transform the ones to fives and the twos to tens okay so we go to transform recode into same variable we're going to move attitude into the variables box there's no conditional statement here we're simply going to use old and new values 
we're going to say 1 equals 5 and we're going to say 2 equals 10 then we click continue and then we click OK and we see here that our attitude scores have been recoded now you know how to recode and compute variables in SPSS. If you have any questions, please submit them to jacob at spssvideotutor.com. This has been a video tutorial from spssvideotutor.com. Thank you for watching and much success with SPSS.